I am never writing a SQL query again. So if you're familiar with the channel, you'll know that previously I created my own AI agent to write psql queries for me right that's all it done it was only psql and you have to maintain it etc well in today's video we're going to talk about chat to db which is an ai tool which allows you to use natural language to interact with data to generate test data to build dashboards all that stuff so let's have a quick look at it it's an ai sql generator for easy database management and if you're not too technical it's perfect for you or if you are technical but you just want something fast, you want a fast way to interact with data, again, perfect. So this year you can download it, chat to DB. You get a completely free open source version that you can actually go and download here. But today we're going to actually walk you through the pro version. So this is what it looks like when you download it. This is the screen. On the right hand side here we have our way to chat to our data so this is like a chat bot and on the left here we have our data in the middle this is where we can create consoles etc so on the left here we can actually click on plus and this is how we'll get a new connection so they support over 30 databases including as you can see mysql oracle psql sqlite mongodb redis snowflake etc etc so everything they support it so Let's connect to a database, all you do is click plus, new connection, and then we'll go say MySQL, and then you fill this in, and then we'll go in and we'll actually start messing around with some demo data. So once we're connected up to say MySQL like we are here, I'm going to go into ERP, which is just some data, and we can see here under tables there's a bunch of different tables. If we double click say products, we can actually see the tables here in the middle, which is cool. So over to the right hand side, we can go to the editor here, and we can say something like Find the best selling products and sort them by customers with the most total orders. And here we want to select the database or data collection. So if we go to data source, you can see we have demo data, or we can have this here. So if we go into ours, go to ERP, and then we send this in. What it will do is it will analyze the table that we have, and from that it will then create a specific query. So you can see here that it's actually going through all of our information. To then generate this SQL query and there we go so we can see either click play to run it or we can click this pin here whoops and this pin will then pin it to our console which I'll show you in a minute or we can just copy it now after it's done that you can see that it actually has already created a chart for us that we can have a look at so we can see dog food's the highest selling item here so first of all let's click on copy and then if we click on plus up here we now open up this console. So from here, you could actually press forward slash and then you could put the query directly in here and it would put this SQL directly in here as well. So this is a, a another way you can do it. Or we can just click pin and it'll bring it over or copy and bring it over. So once it's here, we're going to just click play. You can see here that it generates this. There we go. So there's the results. Now, if we wanted it as a table, you can see that it's already got it here which is perfect. So we can bring this over and we can actually put it into a dashboard. So if we create a dashboard, say bar chart there and click create, then click in here because it's just test data, it doesn't matter what it's called. Click OK. We now have that pinned to a dashboard. So on the left hand side here, we're in data. If we go here to dashboards, see the bar chart data is here and there it is. And so we can actually add a bunch of new charts in here, leveraging um, the AI to actually create the charts so you, see you can choose from a variety of charts um, and have this BI dashboard just straight in here all using AI. Now in addition to this if you say you want to create some sort of Java class for like CRUD operations then you can ask it here as well so we can say create a Java class for CRUD operations and here it works with Java it can do Python, C, C++, all the kind of major program lines that you want to do, and there you go, you have it here. Boom, and just like that, we can then copy this data. And this is actually using it based on the information inside of our tables, which is super cool. So it's customized to that, and it saves you having to go and pay, copy and paste it into um, ChatGPT, or try to use like Rue code or something like that, which won't actually have this visualization. And I find that this, honestly, it helps me so much for stuff like I use render quite a bit. So whenever I'm creating like SaaS products, um, like just experiment ones, I'll use render or Superbase or something like that. And I find that it can be difficult to try and visualize the data. And so for that, especially with render, which has a, a nice free 
Postgres DB, you just connect up to here, because all you have to do is go to connections, new connection, Postgres, and then boom, it joins up here. So there we go, we can see that it has uh, created those for us as well, and then an example way of using it. Now, I've just introduced a bunch of bugs. As you can see, you know, I've just like made up bits, so p.e, and then here I've added some letters, etc. Now, if I was to run this, we'll see that it will fail. There you go. But what we can do is we can just click fix in chat. And then it will pull it over here and it will automatically start trying to fix this SQL for us. Um, it tells you the reason, to tell you what's wrong with it, and then it gives you the solution. And that solution you can just run or you can pin it in or copy it in. So say we were to copy it and then put it in here. And there we go. If we run this now, you can see it runs perfectly. Now, for large SQL queries, if you say you want to optimize them, there's a way to do that as well. Up here at the top, if it's SQL Optimize, if you click on that, it will then use AI to optimize your query. Now, in addition to this, we can also use the AI Table Copilot to help us create tables and populate it with data. So here, if we go to Create Table, then up to Table Copilot, we can call it a name, so we'll just say Test. Then we can give it columns so like ID, name, email, etc. right? And we can click here, and then it will automatically start creating this table for us, as you can see. And then we can just say, that's cool, let's run that. And then it will create this table. Now the problem with this table initially is that there's going to be nothing in it. Although you can see it's created types and stuff, which is brilliant. So from here, this table, say it's now here, test, we can right click on that and actually generate test data. This is a problem I keep running into with my SAS, that like I have to make the test data or I have to get ChatGPT to make it and it's a nightmare. Well here, we can just automatically create this test data to test this database. If we click on play up here, click OK. And there we go. So it has inserted it into this table. So if we double click the table, open this up, you can see we now have all of this test data. Now with this new table, let's say we want to see an ER, ER diagram of it. If we right click, we can go to ER model, and then here it will create an ER model, so an entity relationship model for the entire set of tables. So just give this a second to load up, there you go, and boom. So it's created this ER model for us as well. Now what we can do as well is if you have column names which are difficult to understand, so a problem for example is large language models, they think in language, right? So if you have difficult to understand names, it may not be able to understand it. And for that, you actually can use AI datasets. So it's down here, you can click create AI datasets, you can give it a name and then set it up to have a, a data schema which is more easily understandable by your AI. So going forward, honestly, I'm going to use this all the time. You can use the pro version if you want all the features. Now on the pricing side of things, there is of course the community open source model, which you can go and get. Um, and that will give you 16 databases, no AI calls, but a visual table and data editor, manual report generation and community support. But if you want the full thing, so with the SQL CLI, um, you can get up to a thousand AI services a month. You get your 3.7 sauna, all that cool stuff. It's only $15 a month per user if you get it yearly or $20 a month if you're going to get this. So honestly, if you're say building SaaS products, it could be a game changer for you. So check it out. It'll be the first link in the description below. Until next time, take care and I'll see you later.